Okay, back out in the garage, it's a few more days now, but very short video. Of course, this, well, zoom back out, is officially dead. I've had a long think about it, and I've done spending money on it, and buggerising around. Um, I could probably make this work, but because um, I discussed it, I discussed it with Dion changing this and raising it and putting a like a, a sharp edge on it. It might work better. But the thing I, I'm, I'm considering now is this is very thirsty on air. My compressor runs flat out when I'm just cutting a few things with it, and I don't think Dion has a very big air compressor. So um, what I've come up with is I'm going to buy a geared drive um, a little three phase one you can wire them single phase but a three phase converter is less than a hundred dollars so buy a little um, three phase converter and I'm gonna make a, a, a an apparatus that will cut copper pipe crush cans and, and cut copper wire so um, You'll be able to do three separate things with it and that's going to be easy enough to make so it'll do all three um, it'll be a little bit heavier obviously it's probably going to weigh better than 20 or 30 kilos but that's fine it'll be on wheels um, so i'm going to look at some stuff today I've, I've looked over the weekend for stuff i found a supplier in brisbane with one there's also a guy in victoria but he wants 150 dollars to ship one where the guy in Brisbane's got one, so 1.1 kilowatt, I think it's 59 RPM. He wants $40. So, you know, that's a big bloody difference. So that's about 400 and something dollars for the motor, like for the gearbox. And then it'll be just a matter of, I'm going to pull all this apart, take everything out, take all the fittings, everything that I've bought, including that cylinder, that regulator, that control valve, everything I'm going to put it together. And I'm going to sell it as, a, as a, a bulk lot. I won't make any money back, but I'll make some. So um, then I've got to go and buy some more steel, but that's not overly expensive. And I'm not going to use 10 mil. 10 mil is overkill for what I want to build next time. So I was going to get 6 mil. I'm going to get 4 inch by 6 mil plate. So 10 mil, that'll be a lot easier. And we're going to start fresh. So that won't be for a little while. That'll be, you know, probably. Not for a couple of weeks now because I've by the time I organise everything get stuff in. Soon, tomorrow probably, I'm gonna get into this. I wanna finish this off. I've got to do something, I've got to get it out of the way because too much procrastinating um, and it's affecting my mental health somewhat. Um, I mean I can still use the lathe, but I bought that stuff for a reason, you know, and, and I, I spent What did it cost me? Nine hundred dollars, I think, for the just for the drive unit and the transformer, and then yeah, the bearings and the sprockets, everything else that I bought for it. So um, I don't want to waste that money as well. So um, yeah, so that's how it stands, people. It's disappointing, but. You can only do so much before you, your head starts, you know. And you've got to face the fact. Like if, if we're in a workshop and we're using a, a huge compressor, we could, we could run enough air in that to make it work fine. But we can't. Um, we're hobbyists, so is Dion. Um, I've got a big compressor at the back that I use for my, air, my sandblaster, but Dion doesn't have that sort of air available, so... You know, so keep your eye on eBay. There'll be a cheap pneumatic equipment coming up very soon. But that's what it is. So you know, let's move forward, and hopefully tomorrow I'll come back out and start doing this lathe. So thanks again for hanging around. But unfortunately, this project is dead. So, till next time, stay safe.
Peace.